Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little something special coming to you. We are gonna give a cold start, the first start of 2020 on the old Mopar here. So stay tuned. But before we can do that, we've gotta get some crap clean out of the way so that I can get into the car, get the hood popped, and make room in the back for the exhaust to come out because I don't want to melt anything but anyways we've also got to get the battery on the charger to do that so we're gonna make room to get into the car so we can pop the hood get the charger on it and then we'll move all the stuff out of the way in time lapse Okay, so we got the battery charger on the battery. We'll have to put the spark plugs back in and get the plug wires all connected because I was doing a compression test on this a while ago and just kind of closed the hood when I was done with it. And everything seemed to be good, so there's no worries there. But we'll put everything back together. We've got access to the door so we can get inside of it. And back here, there's nothing that's going to be in the way of the exhaust, except for this front clip that I painted for the project wall art that has yet to be finished. So. I'm going to get those plug wires put back together and we'll get this thing started up. Okay, so we've got the driver's side plugs and wires back in place. Now we've got to go over to the other side and get it done, but uh, we're lacking some space between the wall and the fender of the car, so I'm going to have to be leaning in from the front. So let's see how that goes. Now that wasn't so bad, but I do want to show you one little trick that I learned a long time ago about taking plug wires off and knowing where they go when you go to put them back on. So let me get the light and I'll show you. So anytime you've got these little holders for your plug wires on my car, each one holds two. So two for the front two cylinders here, and then back here, there's two more for the back two. So when I ran the wires, I made sure that cylinder number two, which is the front one on this side, was on top, and cylinder number four, which is the next one, was on bottom. And then back here, I did the same thing. Cylinder number six on top, cylinder number eight on the bottom. That way, we could take the plug wires off, and when we go to put them back on, just because they're sitting there dangling, we knew exactly where they plugged in. So we're about to test that theory and see if it worked by giving this old 1979 Chrysler Cordoba a cold start. So let's get this set up. Okay. Here we go. That wasn't terrible, cranked over quite a bit, but it's been sitting since September, last fall. And uh, we're gonna see if this thing gets up the temperature okay, and we'll check everything over, and then we'll do, give a few, uh, we'll give her a few blasts.
what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to insert the clip from one of my last videos on the cold start and the first start with the new exhaust on Dale. You can tell me which one sounds better. My 79 Chrysler Cordoba. Or the 77 Chevy Scottsdale C10. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now guys, we're getting to a point in the season where February is here and we've only got a few more months to go before we can actually start driving these things on the road. In Canada, we get about five months where we don't dare drive our antique vehicles on the highways because of the salt. Uh, so we wait for you know April and May to roll around and we can kind of get that bug again and get driving these things. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a first start, cold start, whatever you want to call it on my 79 Chrysler Cordoba. If you have any questions on that, go ahead and leave them in the comments section down below. If you don't know much about that car, it's your first time seeing it, I'm going to leave a video right here where I did a quick review on that car back some time ago. This Thursday on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, we're inviting Dan Courier from Creator Fundamentals to the channel to help answer any of your questions on growing your YouTube channel. It happens with the Car Guy and Six Fan Show Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic. I hope that we can see you there. Uh, Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts are available at the first link in the description box below. I hope you can head on over there, pick up a t-shirt with Old Car Auto Guy on it of your very own and help support the channel. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.